Watch out, watch out. Welcome, my friend. Great to see you. Yeah, glad you made it. <laughs> this can't be Aji. He's a little man already. Unbelievable. I hope you're hungry, Adrian. I'm famished. How are you, Opana? I made that fish curry you love. Uh, I can't wait. <laughs> She gets more beautiful every time I see her. Why is that? Strange, isn't it? But a fish curry is still awful. <laughs> You're mysterious on the phone. Why didn't you attend the conference? I will show you, Adrian, sir. Sat down. Stop serving me. How deep do we need to go? 11,000 feet. We searched all over India for this thing. Used to be the deepest copper mine in the world. Remember my brother Gadeep? He's a student now. Namaste, Dr. Helmsley, sir. Adrian. It's just Adrian. Would you all barf chaye? Ice machine the tutge? Just don't pour too much, huh? How do you work in this heat? You've come on a good day, my friend. Sometimes it can hit 120 degrees. You have to come and meet Dr. Lokesh, fellow of quantum physics at the university in Chennai. Namaste. Dr. Helmsley. So, what are we looking at? These neutrinos acting normally. Minuscule mass, um, no electrical charge. They pass through ordinary matter almost undisturbed. Your message said the count doubled after the last solar eruptions. That was last week. But this happened two days ago. The biggest sun eruptions in human history, causing the highest neutrino count we've ever recorded. My God. That's not what worries me, Adrian. For the first time ever, the neutrinos are causing a physical reaction. That's impossible. Ah! That feels very good. Please, follow me. I won't believe this. Bye, Goldo. This water tank goes down another 6,000 feet. It looks like the neutrinos coming from the sun have mutated into a new kind of nuclear particle. They're heating up the Earth's core and suddenly act like microwaves.